this is it. I am a microbiologist, I'm a mom, and I, you know, coming into a cave, any cave for that matter, it's, it's not in my nature. But the drive that really get me into a different kind of cave would be the drive of trying to find the answers. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, you see, you see how, how powdery. It's so powdery. Yes. My quest in science, it has been a continuous research project trying to find new antibiotics. And I chose to look into caves. There's a quiet crisis going on in hospitals around the world right now. Certain strains of bacteria no longer respond to any known antibiotics. There's a word for these antibiotic-resistant bacteria. We call them superbugs. And unless we can develop new antibiotics, superbugs could make a lot of people very, very sick. We are racing against the clock in a way because you already see a number of people who actually just has a meaningless death just because of they had this minor infection. It is imperative for us to look into new drugs and new sources of what could be the habitats for new drugs. There are lots of steps that involves in, in this kind of research. Look at that one. First off, you need to go find the appropriate cave to go into the cave, collect samples. What Dr. Cheatham is looking for in this cave is, in fact, bacteria. Not the infectious bacteria that makes us sick, but benign bacteria that can produce antibiotic compounds. This is how many of the antibiotics we have today were first developed. In this isolated cave, she's hoping to find new species of these bacteria that no scientist has ever seen before. When you look around, what kinds of things are you looking for? Basically, it could be anywhere. In soda straw, lollipops, and cauliflowers, all of these could be a microhabitat that such unique microorganisms could live in. Yeah, that look more like it. Yes. Do you like caving? You want honest <laughs> answer? I learned to love it. I just can't let my imagination go to different places. I think it's yeah, it's awesome. You get the sample back to the lab, and then you will try to isolate as many as bacteria as you can. Do you want to take a look at the, the other soda straw? Sure, yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look like more promising this side. It is a painstaking <laughs> process. Can we say they finding a needle in a haystack? Yeah, maybe six haystacks in one needle. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Cheapham and her students extract the most promising bacteria from their cave samples and try to grow them to greater numbers on lab plates. These are our cave bacteria grown from the Iron Curtain Cave. You can see that there are different populations of community of bacteria growing. Then, the real test. A sample of the cave bacteria is placed on a dish of E. coli. An empty gap around the cave bacteria indicates antibiotic activity, a successful find. 
Dr. Cheapthem has been doing this for a long time, and she's found many bacteria in caves that can kill E. coli. The hard part is what comes next, actually developing a life-saving drug. That can take up to 25 years. It's hard, because I have been already doing this for 14 years. Last year, we came closer to a chemical structure, but turned out activity is, is very unstable. We lost activity of the, of the compounds that we isolated from bacteria. So then now we come back to the drawing board. I'm still a human being. <laughs> I, I am still easily disappointed. But I got myself away from those kind of negative thoughts because I would remind myself that it doesn't come easy. Nothing comes easy, and I think the reward at the end would be well worth it. I would like to see that the best case scenario for me would be I would be a part of finding a new drug, a new antibiotics to help save people's life. <laughs>